What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do another little weekly update for you guys as per usual. Uh, when recording this video we are a day out from the next season in this Series 35 uh, playlist. Quick update, um, the Jeep Gladiator investment car that I told you guys to invest in because it's new as per every other investment. Um, it's starting to hit its peak. As you can see, there's a lot that are sitting on the market around that 9.7 to 10 mil range. If you see all these cars sitting here and this is an investment car, this means it is time to sell. So if you have held on to these things, now is the time to get them posted up. If you wanna get max amount of money out of them, you can try. But my personal tip would be to sell as many of these as at 9 million as you can. Just post up a ton of them, if not all of yours at 9 million. And they should all sell out since there's none on the market for that price. So if you guys have been holding on to those, now is the time. That's how you tell when an investment has basically met its end. So that is the update on that investment car. Make sure you guys are getting rid of those at 9 to 10 million if you can. Moving on to the Forza Dunn shop. Uh... The 207 whatever Super 2000, I'm not going to try to even pronounce Pagat or whatever. Um, yeah, this car is uh, pretty cool. Recently new to the game. Uh, I know we're nearing the end of it being in the Forza in the shop, but I'll just give you guys a little bit of update. Uh, this, should, this video should be uploaded before, right before the uh, new season kicks in. Um, this car is um, pretty cool worth about six to seven million um, i would just personally try to sell it for like six and get whatever money you can out of it if you don't have it it's a good opportunity to pick it up um or you can definitely look to do some quick flips on these cars since a lot of them are getting posted and a lot of the fours of shop cars get posted pretty often you can buy them low and sell them high um moving on to the spring playlist this is the you know most important part of the video uh, the Porsche 928 GTS is a new car, another car you're going to want to invest in. Remember, guys, you cannot sell new cars for the first 24 hours that they are out, and you don't want to anyway. I don't know why people are always like, oh, I can't sell it, I can't sell it, I can't sell it. Don't sell it. You're supposed to buy these cars, not sell them initially. You know, and then when the new festival uh, playlist comes out, then you're going to be uh, you know, starting to see these cars go up in price a little bit, and then you can look to sell them yourself. Um, the Toyota GT86 has been sitting at about 16 million pretty consistently for a long time. So that is an easy, quick 16 million for everybody out there. Um, if it starts to dip a little bit, try to sell it off quick. And then uh, maybe even if it dips enough, you can buy some of those and wait for them to go up in price again. But make sure you're not making risky investments if you can't afford to make risky investments. Um, because that is definitely a riskier investment to uh, bank on that GT86 going back up in price. Moving down the list, the 512S isn't really worth anything. Um, I think it's worth like 100K or something like that. Uh, it's not really that cool or rare. The 93 Mustang is just the SVT Cobra. It's only worth about a million or something like that. So that's also not that important. Um, a Lumicraft Forza Edition is not very important, not worth anything. And then finally, the word I can't pronounce, uh, 205R. Uh, this car is worth about six to seven million right now. I haven't seen any up for specifically like five or anything like that So if you can pick this up uh, pretty quick throughout or uh, when the season hits You can probably sell this for a quick five mil on top of your 16 ish mil for the GT86 On top of that 207 that's still in the Forza Thun shop And then uh, the ninth you have a lot of money to basically use to get those 928s When they first come out and stock up on those and make a ton of money so that's pretty much all I have for you today. Remember, um, make sure you're getting rid of those gladiators. The investment period has basically filled, fulfilled its time. Uh, you guys need to work on getting rid of those now, offloading any stock. You guys have saved up of those. Working on filling up stock on these Porsche 928 GTSs. And yeah, I apologize for the lack of uploading lately and the lack of su substantive content and stuff that, you know, that I usually put out, which is like the uh, important filters and updates and things to look for these weekly updates are really the only thing i kind of have time for um i do have a lot going on i'm about to start about to start a full-time job uh over these next three months so i'm going to be trying to push out youtube content and uh, work on making a actual strict streaming schedule uh and yeah and that's going to be like that for about three months and then i'm going to move back into my school year uh in college or university as a lot of you guys call it 
Um, and then I'm going to have a lot more free time on my hands. I'm only going to have my classes, and then I have a lot of days off throughout the school year. And hopefully by then, hopefully after the summer, after I'm done working my full-time job, um, Forza Horizon 5 will come out and maybe uh, F1 2021, and we can look to provide you guys some really cool, awesome content for that as it comes out, um, especially with Forza Horizon 5. I want to make sure we attack that game right out of the gate and uh, see if we can grow this channel as much as possible with your guys' support behind me and uh, how much you guys have shown me support growing through Forza Horizon 4, which is a game that's kind of slowing down quite a lot. Um, I think it'll be really cool to get like the jump start from you guys backing me um, going into that Forza Horizon 5 game, and uh, it'll be really nice to see what kind of growth and how many more subscribers we can get pushing it out. And hopefully there's some new content and it's a really new, great-feeling game and even an upgrade on this. Um, that being said, I'm not leaking anything. I have no idea when Forza Horizon 5 will come out or if he'll even come out anytime soon. But I'm hoping it comes up after the summer, like I said, when I have a lot of free time and I can really give you guys some awesome content. And then, yeah, hopefully we get a new F1 2021 with some some new drivers in those cool cars. And, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep grinding it out. If you guys have it, make sure you check out that Apex video just posted. Uh, it's about 6,000 damage and 20 kills. I killed one-third of the lobby and... Uh, did quite a lot of damage a lot of people struggle to even get 4k badges and i got a 6k damage in that game so uh it was it was really cool it was really fun uh i'm still streaming a lot of apex lately i haven't gotten a chance to really play ranked as much as i want to um especially just because i got I just got back from uh, a little mini vacation and uh i've been doing a lot of uh stuff in my in my outside life that has prevented me from gaming a lot lately but we're going to be looking to play a little bit more f1 on stream and uh a little bit more apex we're going to creep grinding it out as best as I can uh, while I'm busy, but uh, yeah, sorry for the little tangent at the end of this video. I wanted to keep a lot of you guys who are interested in what's going on in my life uh, posted on all of that stuff. And then other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the weekly update. We're going to keep trying to push these out um, every week on top of some other videos that I mix in. I'm doing my best to get you guys as many videos as possible in the time that I have allotted to me. Uh, and yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Thank you.